Hi friends, Roxanne here. I wanted to talk about how well do you know your colors and how willing are you just to really go crazy and try all kinds of things without a an expected outcome. Your your job is to figure out what your pigments do. And this is a great fun way to try these things out. I've got all these, you know, a variety of um, deep dark pigments. A lot of them are Daniel Smith and I wanted to see what they would do. So I just took a pretty inexpensive mixed media Strathmore journal. It is 100% cotton. It's just not really heavy paper. It's their 500 series and it's a soft cover book, but this gives you a chance to see what it'll do. This is um, Sennelier Payne's Gray. It's a very blackish gray. This one is Daniel Smith's Moon Glow with a little bit of Morton Kosher Coarse Salt. Comes in a big tube that looks like that. And maybe a little bit of water spritzing too. Um, you can see this kind of granulates out almost into a like a deep lavender pinkish hue. Um, this one is Daniel Smith's Serpentine Genuine. Um, it's got some wonderful little granulating qualities. There's this bronzy color in that kind of granulates out of the green. This one is a Sodalite Genuine, also by Daniel Smith, and it is a really fun one for landscapes. I like um, when you're playing around with this, take a little bit of your spritzer and just let it travel a little bit. Then let's see, there is Daniel Smith's Undersea Green. It has some beautiful um, blues when, you, um, when it granulates out. I did a little bit of just brushwork on here and um, dropped in some salt, gave a little spritz of water just to see what, you know, how it would travel. This one is again, Sodalite Genuine. I made circles of water, dropped in pigment and just let it travel, see all the loose edges and um, dropped in extra pigment. There's another one I use undersea green on and then I dropped in a different color and I didn't write it down. I regret that because now I want to know what made that blue-green color. So um, it's helpful if you write down the colors that you're playing around with when you do these experiments. This is a lovely one. It's Daniel Smith's Paraline Green. I love that dark, wintry feel of that. Oh, I just came across a little salt crystal that kind of stuck its way in there and never got, never got brushed off. But again, it has... Little bits of salt, little bits of water spritzed on here. This one is again, Sodalite Genuine. I really think it's just pretty how it granulates out. This one is a Windsor Newton Payne's Gray. Um, the Windsor Newton Payne's Gray has a little bit of a blue cast to its black and it's really fun also to uh, play with loose landscapes. Another one with Windsor Newton Payne's Gray and a little bit of um, core titanium white. So the titanium white is an opaque and, and when that pushes into the more transparent colors, um, like I think Payne's Gray is, I don't know if it's, yeah, it's a semi-transparent, semi-opaque. And that kind of, that heavier pigment just pushes that around a little bit. It's really pretty. Which brings me to this, a little bit more experimenting on a little bit bigger paper, just for me to, to allow me to see what this pigment will do. Um, and it's just beautiful. I just think that's so much fun. So these are things that I will use again later in maybe sketchbook paintings or larger paintings. And it is fun. All right, thanks.